Buenos dias, Duanetta. Good morning. Uh, your boy Pillar, of course. You know we like to read because we know that we're not getting all our history right. And so we definitely got to study ourselves a little bit more so we can make sure people understand how great we are and how we don't play no games when it comes to who we are, right? So today we're going to read from this uh, guy. This is him right here. Uh... General Carlos Cuevo Marquez, Estudi from, my fault, from his book, Estudios Archaeologicos y Ethnographicos, Volume 1, page 272, written in 1920, 100 years ago. All right, so let's see what he says. He's a general, right? I, if I'm not, he might be related to um, Vicente Guerrero. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. I think it might even be him or this other guy that talk about uh, this same subject. But he says, the Otomies of Mexico, the Caracols of Haiti, the Agulas of Katara, the Erevos of Orinoco, the Portuguese and the Matayas of Brazil, the Manabas of Quito, Quito the Chunas of Darien, and the Albinos of Panama are the remains of the uh, of the aboriginal African race out of which later developed what is known as the red and American race. Perhaps someday the dense mist that hides the remote past of the new world will be dissipated and there will be unfolded by science, brilliant and unknown horizons veiled today by darkness as profound as it is mysterious. Okay, so before I translate that, let me show you something. Okay, so when I read that, it, it made me think about this quote when this guy said, then we read this guy, uh, Edwin Gerwin Kirsch, about ancient Mexico. He said, is there any other spot on earth so completely enwrapped in darkness, so mute in the face of all our questions? How to explain why the urn figures seem to depict an Egyptian sphinx? Another bird-headed guy, Ra, and why the reliefs in the gallery of the dances are partly Assyrian style and partly the portrayal of Negro types? How, whence, why? So he's saying Mexico is also wrapped in darkness, right? But he also he also said what? I see the portrayal. He says ancient Mexico wrapped in darkness, and but he studied. He's seeing Negro artifacts, right? <clears throat> so let's go back. Now we just read what Dude said uh, about. Ancient Mexico. Let's go to this guy by ancient Mexico, right? He's now he's saying the Ottomans of Mexico. So he's saying he said. So let's go. But he said the the remains of the African race, right? He said the Ottomans of Mexico. So it's people in Mexico that was connected to the Ottomans. That's connected to these black folks, the Caracols of Haiti. Now think about the Haiti Revolution and how black people are already in Haiti as the original people there, right? Then you got, he said, the Argos of Katara. Now, I really don't know what Katara is. Y'all got to fit me in on that one. He said, the Arvos of the Orinoco. I really don't know what that said, but that must be in South America. But he's saying these are all black folks, right? And then he says, the Portuguese and the Matias of Brazil. So, but do you know that Brazil has been like, it's like known as the large population of black people outside of Africa? But he, he's saying, uh, these are the original African people out of which they developed the red and American race, right? He says, uh, the Manabas of Quito, the Chiranas of Darien, and the Albinos of Panama are the remains of the Aboriginal black people, right? More people, African people, Negro people, which is us black folks, race out of which, the, which developed later what is known as the red and American race. Hmm. Makes you think, right? Perhaps someday the dense mints that hides remote past of the new world will be dissipated, will disappear. But ask yourself, who do you think it affects the most when he talks about the mints dense and then he talks about are the remains of the original race, black people race, which is known as the red or American race. But he said, oh man, it's a miss. In the road past the new world. 
Let's finish reading. And will be dissipated, and there will be unfolded by science brilliant and unknown horizons, veiled today by darkness as profound as it is mysterious. Carlos General, Carlos Cuevo Marquez, Estudios Archaeology. Let's say study archaeology and ethnicity, either or, eth or ethnograph geography. It's either one of those, right? Some type, something like that. Volume 1, 272, 1920. That's over 100 years ago. That he's saying it's a darkness about America past and that the original people in these areas were black people. But remember, we was taught we all came here on a slave ship. Uh, this, is our, this is a new world. But as you can see, they clearly keep saying that they found us here when they got here. That's not to negate an African slave trade. Because yeah, that did happen. That, that's true. But also, what will also happen was we always been here. And as you can see, these people know that. So you see, when someone's trying to enforce their indigenous right as a so-called black person, why are you fighting them? Right? You're making a, a, a bad problem worse. And you also promote uh, the dense myths that hides the ancient history of the New World. Who were the uh, Aboriginal African people, which they developed known as the Red and American race. So then you had these people... Talking about all oh, we other people, so-called Native American, so-called Mexican, telling how you came on a slave ship, you just telling their history. <laughs> but then you got this guy say, hey, I'm a general archaeologist guy, and we came from we came from out these Negro people that was in Mexico, Haiti, Katara, Orinoco, Procedilius, and Brazil, Quito, Darien, and Panama. Now, are you getting that in school? Because you can't get that in school, right? Because you're on a plantation. I right, it's your boy Pillar, man. I love y'all. You keep on studying yourself, and I guarantee you, you're going to find a way to win. Because you are great. You will always be great. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Peace. Okay, it's your boy Pillar. I'm going to pop back in. I'll let you. We're going to be uh, be right back in ancient America because we, we fight against evil. Let's be real. You had somebody history and teach them the history of slavery and that they never was American.